Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and it's been a long journey for me being on YouTube and stuff and like kind of trying to figure out who I am and like what my content's gonna be like and it constantly like kind of changing. Um, but now that I feel like I'm in a better like headspace and you know in a better place in my life and I, you know I've gone through some certain things I definitely feel like I'm a little bit more sure of myself and I definitely want to take this time to enjoy everything that I enjoy in this life because I only have so much time here so anyways today we're gonna oh my god I left it out to draw <laughs> Um, today we're gonna get ready and we're gonna, um, read some Reddit stories. Dude, I took a hit and I'm, like, already a little, like, okay, sorry for my background. It's, I'm literally in my closet. Oh, well. I'm in my closet getting ready because this is where my vanity is. Okay, this is a juicy one. This is a juicy one because why are you, anyways, what is next? I should probably do my best. Shit. Dude, I think I'm a little toasty. I didn't like smoke all morning. Is this is like my first time smoking. Today. Am I the asshole for admitting in front of all my husband friends that I've never had an orgasm? One, why are you guys talking about this? Like, I get it, like, with friends, you, like, talk about, I guess, sex and stuff. And you talk about, like, you know, like, you know, taboo things and what you guys done, I guess. But I guess, I feel like there's just certain things, like, you just don't talk about in front of people and stuff. Especially, like if you know that that like makes your partner like uncomfortable like sharing that kind of information because I feel like it's very like you know sacred um I don't know that's just me and I just feel like it just kind of depends on the couple and the person um but that's just me. Like it. it says, recently was my husband's friend's birthday party. It was a bigger party and all my husband's friends and their wives were there. No kids. One woman that I'm friendly with was annoyed with her husband and joked, men, if they didn't get us off, why would we keep them? And she laughed and I awkwardly laughed, but I guess, but I guess looked uncomfortable. She asked me what was up and she pointed out that I made a weird face. I said, I've just never had an orgasm before. So I guess I couldn't relate. I mean, I guess like it's also, I guess you could also say like it's also their partner's fault because like why aren't they like, you know, helping them achieve that, I guess. I just feel like there isn't, there's so much that isn't known about the couple. Um that I, like, can't, like, form, like, you know, an opinion on whose side I am on, I guess. Oh, my God. All this blending I've got to do. Oh, wait, I already said that. Okay, almost a dozen people looked at me when I said that. It was super awkward. The wife then awkwardly asked... Is everything okay down there? And I said, yeah, just never had anyone try, I guess. Her husband never made her orgasm? What are you doing? Okay, listen. Sex is, like, not the most important thing about a relationship. However, something like this, like, I don't, obviously, I don't know what's going on. But just off rip, if you're partner is not making you you know completing their job in that or whatever and stuff and, and that's something that you want and they're just really like not listening to you I just feel like they just kind of don't really care they don't care about you I feel because like if they cared it would have already been done it probably would have been like the first thing they would have tried to do or at least maybe the second you know what I mean like I don't know I feel like if someone really cares about you they want you to experience like a good time and that's just me though that's just me whatever for the next 10 minutes all of my husband's friends took turns insulting him in various ways many women talked about how they'd never be married to someone who didn't get the job done honestly my relationship or like my sexual interest wouldn't have grown if like that wouldn't be possible if that makes sense you know what i mean like i just 
been like okay i gotta take another hit my husband made us leave early when we got home he lectured me about how i humiliated him i pointed out that she asked and i have a tendency to be honest he's been really upset the last several days and he keeps saying he can't talk to his friends because now they think badly of him well well get the job done sir i mean am i the asshole for being honest here edit i've been the i've brought up the issue countless times in the past he tells me that i'm not important slash not a big deal that he doesn't get that he doesn't get me off that it's not important what since it's not that important i just don't see why i have to hide like it's some kind of dirty secret no she's not the asshole because i was gonna say like oh well maybe it's like not appropriate for her to like say that and stuff but hey man she's he said it's not important I don't know and I just feel like if that's not important then there's obviously there's there's for sure other aspects in his life where you're not important for sure for sure something as simple as that I feel so verdict let's call her Anne Anne is not the asshole this is a juicy one I guess this was like 159 days ago or whatever am I the asshole Am I the asshole for telling my brother's girlfriend that he had a vasectomy when she was telling about their plans to settle down and have a family? <sighs> I don't know. I just kind of think it depends. What if she, like, already knew? I don't know. I don't really know much about the situation, but let's get into it. My brother, Mark, for my brother, Mark 40, won the lottery when he was 20, and it was $1,000 a week for life oh that's cool I didn't, I didn't know that's how that works is that how that works right he was young and wanted to travel he dropped out of school and has spent his entire adulthood basically seeing the world he comes home to visit every few years and we facetime with him when he is near signal he doesn't travel first class or stay in expensive resorts so he has actually built up some nice savings he came along, or he came home with a girlfriend, Haley, 28 this year. They met when they got stuck in South America during the pandemic. She has been traveling since she graduated from university and she works out of a laptop. That's cool. I, female 54, live in the same city where I was born. I love it here. I love being close to my parents and my grandchildren and most of my siblings. Mark hated being the youngest of eight and always swore he would not have kids. Our parents were older when they had him and they didn't have the energy for him, truth be told. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, okay. So the brother is 40 and his girlfriend is 28. Okay. Mark came home when he was 30 and told us that he had a he had had a vasectomy and that he would not be contributing to the world population. Oh, damn it. I used the wrong one. Haley is a pretty young thing and she is also intelligent and sweet. <laughs> Dude, this is so right. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, we were having a family barbecue to celebrate Mark being in town. There were maybe... 30 people in my parents' yard and house. I was talking to Haley about her future plans now that the world opened up again. She said that she was ready to settle down and start a family. I asked if they were planning on adopting from one of the countries that they had traveled to or if they would try North America. She said that they had talked about at least having one of one child of their own. This this may be where I fucked up. I asked where Mark got his vasectomy. I asked where Mark got his vasectomy rivers or if they were having in vitro fertilization. I know they can harvest sperm from a testicle even after a vasectomy. Okay, so she did ask. Whoopsie. Okay, I got more of my face done because it was just, there was just like too much going on because I'm also doing a TikTok too. I'm like a little faded. I'm a lot of faded. Not a lot of faded, but a little faded. Okay, where were we? She went very quiet and went over to Mark. Okay, this is when she was asking him about the vasectomy version, blah, blah, blah. Okay, she went very quiet and went over to Mark. They spoke and they left. Mark called me later that night to s scream at me for ruining his life. He hadn't told her and she was planning on just continuing to travel and maybe adopt if they decided on. He said, I shared private medical information that he never wanted to see me again. I apologized over and over. I seriously had no 
way of knowing that he was planning a future with this girl without telling a pretty big piece of the puzzle might be missing. I feel bad for him, but I think he should have told her. Um, well, obviously, yeah, everyone knows that, like, he probably should have told her, but, like, it's none of our business, I feel, in my opinion, right? As I read this. I think she's an accidental asshole. Like, you know, I would have just been like, mm-hmm, oh, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. and then like talked about it with my like brother later and been like yo so she was like talking to me like or especially if like if I had that relationship with my brother um I would be like yo like da 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 was telling me like you know she wants to build a family and stuff like you know I think that's cool that's awesome you know that you guys are really serious and wanted to think but like don't you have your vasectomy and stuff like I didn't want to say anything and stuff you know because like you know I don't want to put it out there so maybe she is the asshole I don't know maybe she, it was an accident I don't think like it was an intent it, it was intentional I definitely think it could be, could have been um avoided but I think he is a little bit dramatic in saying like I never want to see you again I don't know though I don't know though but he has a right to how he feels maybe I'm like the worst at this because I just like I love to hear everybody's sides and I love to like you know understand and or at least try to understand you know what everybody's thinking we were talking about how like well it's like it's important for them to have talked about it, especially you know that he's the asshole for probably like not telling her and like wasting her time especially since she's so young she's 28 and he's 40 you know and us women we have a biological clock unfortunately um, I'm not saying that women who are over 30 cannot have kids because that is definitely not true. My mom had my sister after 30. Okay, so <clears throat> I basically finished my makeup because I was getting like really frustrated with my hair and I just could not anymore. But anyways, I basically finished. I look cute. I feel good. Um... And I figured I'd just do, like, maybe one more. Am I the asshole? Okay, so, last one. Would I be the asshole if I broke up with my girlfriend for humiliating me? Advice needed. Hi, all. Throw away because both she and I lurk Reddit. I, 23 male, have been with C, 23 female. Let's call him... Roger. And let's call her... Uh, what name starts with a C? Candace? Oh, well. Anyways, Candace. Okay, Roger and Candace. For four years. So they've been together for four years. We got together during our freshman year of college and we became very close and we both held similar beliefs and wanted similar things out of life. We both moved in with each other and grew really close, almost inseparable during the pandemic. I wanted to marry this woman until last night. Sheesh. Candace has been under more stress from work and family during the last few months. Her dad has cancer and it and it hasn't been easy on her. That's incredibly difficult. Incredibly, incredibly difficult. She's been drinking more and more. Understandable. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying I understand. And while I don't mind her drinking, it's how she gets when she she's drunk is where I begin to have issues. She has a tendency to get pretty mad, mean and say some awful things talking about my appearance or how I sm small my member is member your penis your dangling okay she makes me feel like I'm not enough for her sexually or emotionally she is almost always apologetic the next morning and we'll spend the next few days after that trying to fix things but we'll turn around and do it again when she drinks Okay, so it's definitely a toxic, like, cycle, toxic relationship type thing. It really came to my head last, or really came to a head last night when I took her and her friend out to a local bar that's popular. I volunteered to be their DD for the night. She's driven drunk before, and I didn't want her to make that choice again. Sorry, I don't really, like, have any, like, words for people who decide to drive drunk. And I know some people who do it. Stop. Quit it. 
Um, I told her that I didn't want her to drink too much tonight, and she agreed that she wouldn't. The bar was packed when we got there, so we all went and sat at the bar and ordered some food and drinks. They were enjoying themselves, and I watched the game while they uh, drank and enjoyed themselves. I got up and went to the bathroom, and when I came back, I noticed my girlfriend was getting loud, and her friends screamed, sleeve, while laughing. She then said, as I walked up and was in earshot, that her ex was the biggest she had, and she missed it. I think that's kind of like grounds for breaking up because like one why would you say that out loud Two, like uh, I don't know I just feel like if you really cared about the person you love them and stuff like you definitely like work with them to like you know meeting your needs and stuff like that but to like totally dismiss like who you're with I don't know that's a little messy I just that's not like something you say one if you're in a health, happy, healthy relationship, to it's not something you say when your man is like, I don't know, also out with you. I don't know. I mean, if you say that to your homegirl, like that's your homegirl, you know, she got your back, but I don't know. Whatever. I pretended to not hear it because I knew she was getting drunk. I touched her back and sat down at the bar again before the guy sitting at the table grabs both our attention and asks us if I was the cock sleeve guy and I immediately felt like I was gonna be sick these guys were laughing at me and asked Candace if she was serious she kept laughing so I just grabbed my keys and walked out I left both her and her friend there at the bar and drove home yes cuz like why are you putting your his business out there like that who cares if he's wearing a sleeve I mean if you know, if that gets your guys' rocks off, like, who cares? But, like, I don't think that's something that you're supposed to say to other people. I don't know. That's just me. Okay. Uh, I immediately packed up my essential stuff and went to stay with a close friend for a few days. I didn't get any texts from Candace until about an hour, hour after I left there asking where I was. I then got a bunch of missed calls and texts that weren't anything but angry. I answered one call and she was still slurring her words and I heard she was in the bar still, so I hung up and turned off my ringer. I would do the same. I woke up to a stream of apology texts and more missed phone calls. She apologized and she said she fucked up and was wondering when I was coming home. That I satisfy her and that I'm more than enough for her and that she'll make this right if I come home. I'm sorry, baby, but you said it. I feel like it's that, that one's kind of like hard, kind of hard to come back from, you know? I have to take a hit after that because baby I'm just done I feel humiliated and embarrassed her and I had what I thought was a good sexual relationship we did foreplay and used toys but I've never once gone out of my way to pleasure her wait I've never once not gone out of my way I was about to say I was like then she has I'm not saying she has every right to humiliate you but like boy okay I've never once not gone out of my way to pleasure her or get her off i'm not the biggest guy down there so yeah i use a sleeve to help her get off too that's nice you know he doesn't have to do that but like um i just didn't think she would use that against me like that i don't want to go back home i love her but i feel humi humiliated and like she doesn't respect me as a man or a partner would I be the asshole if I broke up with her over this? She's been a perfect partner otherwise. I just feel like she didn't respect me at all. And after what she said about her ex, I can't help but suspect things. Edit one. Woo! I'm going to text Candace back and tell her that I'm go I'll be there to talk tomorrow or and get the rest of my things. My supportive son, I, ha I don't have to worry about a place to stay for right now. She's always been one of my closest friends, so it feels good to have some support right now. Thank you, everyone, for your advice. I planned on ending things with Candace. My friend and her brother are going to go as well and make sure things don't go crazy. I don't know about Candace, what Candace might do at this point. Okay, that's good to know that he broke up with her, and I'm very happy because I just feel like if she's going to disrespect you in that way, she's going to disrespect you in other ways. Dude, I don't know. Like, I I don't know like, I'm way too sensitive or what, but, like, that's just, like, that would make me cry. I just don't know how I would be with that person. I don't know how I would, like, lay next to that person knowing that I'm not enough. And, like, I just don't want to be with people or with someone 
making me feel like I'm not enough. Like, you don't deserve that, babe. No. So, I'm glad. You deserve better than that. And your thing is a prize. I am sure it is. And I'm sure it is going to pleasure and make someone very, very happy. Not just because of that, but because of who you are as a person and how you will treat them as a partner. Okay, let's see some of the comments. I kind of want to see like what their commentary is. You can end a relationship for any reason at any time. Your partner drinking more and more and discussing private matters in public is certainly a valid reason. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The fact that she drives drunk would be enough for me to end things. Yes. Okay, this person like listed out the five reasons. One, drunk driving, never acceptable. Two, being an angry drunk. If you can't control yourself when you drink, you don't get to drink. The end. Valid. I feel like if you're an adult and you are wanting to do these adult things, be responsible and, you know, make sure you're okay. Make sure you're safe. Make sure the people around you are safe. You know, everybody wants to have a good time. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to have a bad time with that. The inability to handle emotions. Like, life can be really hard. People get sick, they die, hearts break, getting emotional about these things, fine. Acting on using your emotions as an excuse, never fine. Definitely agree. I definitely understand that a lot of us go through hard things. Um, I myself have gone through hard things and stuff and tried to have used that for um, an excuse for why I was the way that I was. But either way, what I did was not okay. You know what I mean? So either way, I would have to apologize or I would have to kind of be open with the people around me so there isn't any like misconstrued like communication you know what i mean disrespect never ever stay with a partner who disrespects you even ever even if they're berating you to your face or others leave if they do things to upset you intentionally, leave. Yeah, because if they're supposed to be the love of your life and you're supposed to care about them and, like, you know, all these things, why are you purposely making them mad? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel, I kind of have, like, kind of the same opinion on, like, people or couples, like, with the whole, um, pranks. Like, you know, I definitely think, like, pranks are really fun and really funny. You know, I love you know, having a little laugh with my boyfriend and, um, and all that. But I just definitely think some pranks are just, like, a little over the line or maybe a lot over the line. I don't know. It's, like, a lot of things, like, um, have you ever seen, like, on TikTok, um, about that woman who, like, s um, took all this time to build this puzzle and she was so proud of it and it looked awesome and like it was huge too and she like held it up and I was like oh my god you know and she was trying to show her husband what does her husband do he fucking punches it and breaks it and he's like having a laugh and she's just like you know and like there's just so many instances of like men doing that to their wives or husbands doing that to their wives and it's so sickening and it's so horrible for me to like witness and hear and like hear that like girls go through that and that's really horrible you don't deserve that you definitely deserve like that person should have gotten an oh my god that is so freaking amazing let me take a picture of you because this is my girl let me post it i don't give a fuck if it's like a puzzle you know, I'm so proud of her. I'm going to, you know, ask her all about it. I'm going to ask her, do we want to keep it? Do we want to, like, do this all over again? You know, like, I don't know. That I just feel like that's something that my boyfriend would do. So, and I just feel like someone who loves you would do that. And kindness. This woman is just plain mean. For someone who loves you to bully and body shame you is just unbelievable to me. Yes, you should not be with someone that body shames you at all for whatever reason especially if it's stuff that you cannot help at all like but it's good to know that they broke up and yes i definitely think a lot of people deserve a lot better so i hope you guys had a really fun time um listening to this i had a fun time reading these reddit stories i live for reddit stories honestly and i love um hearing kind of like You know, the things 
that people experience in life. And I just feel like everyone can learn from that. Um, yeah. And I just feel like Reddit's just like real people, unless like a lot of these are fake. But I would hope, well, you know, you go on here for the anonymity for it, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was very fun. And I hope you guys like my makeup and the stories that I picked. Um, if you guys want like a certain genre or like a certain Reddit thread or community or whatever it's called to like read from or whatever, or if you have any suggestions, let me know because I'll do them because I'm always down to read like a good Reddit story. So I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.